I think Japan first. So this is like the big final of the stream today. Let's do Japan first. This is oh, one German country states. I barely it's have to introduce fun. you to. Let's just get it over with. Sushi, geishas, karate, temples, ramen, anime, sumo's weird stuff. Weird. Wait, wait, wait. That picture looked amazing. This is one country wait, I wait, barely wait. have to introduce you to. Japan is my favorite country in the let's world, man. I cannot with. wait to Sushi, go there one day. Sushi, karate, temples, ramen, and Okay, let's name... Who well, Who can you name? Who can you name? One sec. I need to do this. I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Camera. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta do this real quick. This is Garuman below me. One sec. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know the top row, second row, I uh, don't know. That is, um, that is Jin of Samurai Champloo, Samurai Champloo Jin, uh, don't know. That looks like Luffy, don't know. That looks like One Piece, no, no. Cowboy Bebop, the greatest, uh, Spike Spiegel, we have Alucard of Van Helsing, man, I don't know most of these people, that's Tokyo Ghoul, I think. That's uh, Zubaza Kickers. That's Digimon first season. That's Ash Ketchum. That's uh, a Waifu. Um, let's go a bit deeper. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, I don't know most of them. I'm actually not a big weep. That's uh, that's uh, what's his name? Ryuk. Of that's Ryuk, uh, the Shinigami of uh, Death Note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alucard. Man, I don't actually. I'm not even a big weep, man. Dude. Uh, that's uh, that's um. Uh, Man, um, Evangelion, Evangelion, yeah. Where do you see Hunter X Hunter? Where the fuck do you see Hunter X Hunter? No, 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 no. That's a boxing anime. That's Mr. Satan. If you don't know Mr. Satan, fuck you. Uh, Mugen. Oh fuck, I love that anime. Mugen of Samurai Champloo. Vegeta. If you don't know Vegeta, we have some naked girl. Um, don't know, don't know. Going a bit deeper. That looks like, um, I never watched it. You guys love that shit. Uh, what's it called? Fuck, man. What is it? Man, uh, Yo Yo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we have, uh, the Alchemist Brothers. Uchiari Tashida. Sasuke, uh, my favorite character, uh, here, Kurosaki Ichigo. Yeah, uh, my nickname used to be Ichigo. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Yu Gi Oh over here. Yugi. Uh, Nami, lots of fucking naked girls, man. Jesus, don't know him, don't know her. Th uh, that guy has his own anime. I don't know. That's Kilua of Hunter X Hunter. That's Sanji. That's also Hunter X Hunter. Gone. That's uh, Monkey D Luffy. It's funny that he leads them. Naruto, obviously. We have Zoro. We have Son Goku. That's the guy from. That's Inuyasha. That's Digimon. That's Charmander. Uh, that's um, a Fairy Tale, and that's it. That's all I know. I think I was pretty normal here. I, I, I wasn't too crazy. I wasn't too crazy here. Come on. Who's the coolest of all? I think Itachi, right? Itachi is the coolest. If they all fight, who wins? It must be Son Goku, right? It must be Son Goku. Where's Shaman King? Oh, I didn't see Shaman King. If they all fight, who wins? Well, Saitama isn't in here. It must be Son Goku, I guess. Ash, catch him. Alucard? I never really watched Van Helsing. People are saying Alucard. Is Al Alucard is like a god or some shit, right? Madoka will win? Dude, Son Goku is the main character of my childhood, man. He will never lose, okay? He will always find a way. So, I, I never watched Van Helsing, man. Yeah, Son Goku will beat everyone. Okay, sorry. Sorry, a little... Uh, sorry. I just had to do that real quick. Anime, sumo's weird stuff, weird cosplay, poison fish, and I'm not even gonna ask about that. Dewa! Ikemashou! Not me! He came in that! Spike Spiegel is easy. I mean, Spike is the coolest of all. But Mugen also. Mugen and Spike? Shit, I have to stop the fucking... Oh, camera fix. I have to stop uh, being so fucking weep here, man. It's gonna, it's creeping out viewers, man. It's creeping out viewers. No! Hey, everybody. I'm your host, Barbs. We have reached the land of the rising sun. Asia's island powerhouse and home to a culture that I'm sure you've man, heard Japan of. Japan is so Let's interesting, man. Such an interesting country. Ah, Japan, you have such a story behind you. First of all, Japan is located right off the east coast of the Asian continent between the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Japan, stretching all the way from the Sea of Okhotsk in the north with the East China Sea to the south. The country is divided into 47 prefectures, each with prefectures. incredibly beautifully minimalistic style flags. The prefectures are divided into four- Look at the flags, man. It looks so fucking cool, man. They look like uh, energy drinks or some shit. Four different categories, Ken, To, Fu, and Do. The first level, Ken, <laughs> Ken, refers to the 43 plain prefectures. Then you have To, which means something like metropolis, and this category only- Look at how back Tokyo is! What the fuck? Jesus Christ, we've seen a lot of cities here today on this channel, like like Belgrade. 
This city is so big, to man. Tokyo City. Fu what the fuck? To the urban prefectures, which applies only to the cities. It has two states in Hoi Four. Man, Osaka and Kyoto. And finally, Do, which is a unique category translating to something like circuit, oh. and it applies to all of Hokkaido. Oh, I want to go there, man. Speaking of which, Tokyo, Japan's capital, is the largest city in the world. I thought that's fucking big, area, including man. Kanto, containing about 37, 37 million people. That's million more than the entire people. population of Canada. However, Imagine Tokyo is kind that. Of like 23 smaller cities all smashed into one, divided into units. Ah, it's wars. smaller cities together. The closest together. thing to a capital one would probably be Chiyoda, where the emperor, prime minister, and supreme court are located. After the greater Tokyo Kanto region, you have the next largest cities, Osaka and Nagoya, coming in at third. Keep in mind, about 90% of people in Japan live in cities. Wow, 90% of people live in cities, man. Jeez, dude. The vast majority on Honshu and Kyushu. The busiest airports, of course, being Tokyo's two twins, Haneda, which is actually in Tokyo, Haneda. and Narita International, which is like an hour and a half drive Narita. away outside of Tokyo. Then you have Osaka's Kansai International. <laughs> Thank you, Fuzzle, my bro. International Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, Gotta keep it clean, Keith. Speaking of which, Japan is made up of about 6,850 islands, but about 97% of the land is made up of four Lovely main Tommy. islands, Honshu, Kyushu, Shikoku, and Hokkaido. and Hokkaido. South of the Hokkaido. main four, you have the Ryukyu Island chain, which extends just south of Kyushu, partially making up the Okinawa prefecture. You've probably heard of Okinawa. It's where Uma Thurman got that sword that she used to kill Lucy Liu. It's also where these two- Yeah, from Hattori Ranzo, the legendary swordsmith, to take down Oren Ishii. God, Kill Bill 1. If you never watched Kill Bill 1, what the fuck are you doing? Two islands. <clears throat> never mind. Nonetheless, Japan what? can still kind of be separated into 10 historical main regions, six of which divided amongst Honshu. Then you have the interesting, less highlighted Kuro Island dispute with Russia in the north. Mm. Basically, Russia administers all of them. It's also where Japan Karate is these from. two islands closest to Hokkaido, Iturup or Etorofuto, and Kunashir or Kunashiri, which is... Like, I'm a guy, when I travel, I don't want to go to Tokyo. I want to go here. I just want to go on fucking Etorofuto, go to a random village and see how they live, man. Must be so interesting. Only like less than 10 like no one ever cares about Hokkaido. them. On a clear day, you can oh, even sorry. see it from the coast. But it's like, nope, Russia. They even have a statue of Lenin. The Russians and Japanese have kind of had a long dispute over oh, this area. At one Lenin point, Japan there. even tried to take over all of Sakhalin in the 1800s. Like, then you, you have the Tokyo, Tokyo Takashima man. Island dispute between them and South Korea. To this day, South Korea has a patrol building built on the island and they fiercely guard it. And finally, you have Okino Torishima, which is probably the loneliest place in Japan as a shallow reef in the middle of the Look ocean. That, it looks like it's trying so hard to become an island complete with three helipads. And a when you come to survey, I believe it's a Serbian village. Listen, I trust Japanese villages more than Serbian villages, okay? A research station. There's no diplomatic dispute, but rather a dispute within the UN on whether or not it qualifies as land for an exclusive economic zone in the ocean. You're not allowed to go there without a surviving skill license. You need to report to police to re register or you are alive if you go to these islands. Whoa. Phew, okay, all right, that kind of took forever. Uh, Getting around in Japan dude. is incredibly easy, often touted as having the best public transportation system in the world. They have highways and trains everywhere, even one that they cuts through an office building, dude. as well as the Shinkansen bullet train system wow. that can get you to virtually every corner of Honshu and Kyushu, as well as the bottom tip of Hokkaido, but not Shikoku. If you want to go to Shikoku, you have to take the slower local Seto Ohashi line across the Seto Man, Bridge. Japan must yeah, be Shikoku so is fucking like sick, dude. The litter in Japan. Basically, Japan is like one big massive machine. That's Tokyo Tower, remember? When I was a kid, I used to play SimCity version one i played the first sim city version and i always started my city with the tokyo tower in the middle i remember running and moving with flashing neon lights vending machines and robots move your camera yeah man oh yeah mensch it's in everything everything even the garbage cans have cartoons cartoons everywhere anyway some notable places of interest might include tokyo sky tree the second tallest building in the world miyajima pagoda matsumoto himeji and osaka castles oh, the fushimi castles, Inari man. shrine the great buddha hall nakagin capsule tower the vine bridges of ia valley the ramen museum so many weird the themed ramen restaurants museum. and hot springs the self-mummified monks of sokushin butsu self -mummified that hotel monks. run by robots the ninja museum in iga kan manga fuchi lava buddha yeah you can you can get a ninja license there all right one day i want to go there and i'm gonna do a vlog for you guys where i get a ninja license you can legit it takes like two or three days so you can do a ninja exam there and stuff the restricted access ise grand shrine the, the most significant of all shinto shrines the shirakawa go traditional village armed with water cannons to protect itself from fires abandoned theme parks like greenland and nara dreamland kochia hill with red cypress wow. and the national treasure itsukushima shrine featured on that's the national treasure why i want to google that i so i'm so interested itsukushima shrine itsu Kushima Shrine. Why is that the national treasure? What about it? It's so sick. Uh, is a Shinto shrine on the island of blah blah blah. Best known for its floating gate. It is blah blah blah. It's uh, most popular tourist attractions. It's most famous for its dramatic gate. Otori. And it's at the sacred peaks of Mount Mizen. Blah 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 blah. Tori Gate is currently covered entirely by semi-transparent scaff. So you can't go there right now until 2021. It's cool that Wikipedia tells you that. You can't see that right now.
based on numerous pieces of art, films, and even big notes. That's so despite Shimano's the bustling Mutsu. metropolis regions and skyscrapers, <laughs> really? Japan does an incredible job at maintaining so its cringe, natural don't integrity. Watch Find out how in... That's where the sun god takes walks. Now, Japan's land is kind of like a gingerbread house. Beautiful on the outside, but potentially dangerous on the inside. First of all, Japan is a stratovolcanic archipelago located right on the most precariously situated section where four major tectonic plates converge, the Pacific, Oof. the Philippine, the Eurasian, and the North American plates. Oof. Of course, this means that not only is Japan subject to okay. earthquakes- Oh, man. oh you scared my ass, bro. Here comes the money. Tommy will take the ninja license and die! <laughs> Danny boy in the house, bro. Tommy will take the ninja license in five minutes. Are you, are you minutes. doing Dunheim? Jeez, bro. You know how obsessed I'm, uh, bro. I use your music still a lot, man. Fucking Emir, that's... Oh, I'm talking to Dunheim. I'm a big fanboy of that guy. Dunheim, man, I think Emir is an unbelievable song, man. You did an unbelievable job there. Holy shit. I use that song in every fucking intro I do, man. Thank you so much for the 50, man. Check out Dunheim, guys. He, he's making all the YK music you ever heard on my, my stream, man. That guy is so talented. I, I, I'm I a bit of a fanboy. I hope one day I go to Scandinavia and we maybe drink out of horns or some fucking Viking shit. I don't know, man. Thank you very much for coming by. Jesus. Means a lot, bro. Your music is 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 part of my channel. And my channel is part of my life. So you're kind of part of my life. That sounded weird. Let's let's stop simping so hard. Yeah, check out Dunheim. Check the link, man. That dude is making very unique music, man. Thank you, man. Jesus, thank you for the 50. These are that's where I'm a fanboy, man. Thank you, bro. God damn. I listen. Dude, I always sing the Emir song. I, I don't speak the language. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, and my girlfriend, shut the fuck up with your fucking bullshit, man. That's the funny shit, man. Thank you, also, man. tsunamis, which Jeez. by the way is a Japanese word, tsunami Dunheim, caused from sub-oceanic activities such as the one recently in Fukushima caused by the epicenter in the Japan Trench off the Pacific. This also means that Japan is a volcanic area with numerous volcanoes still active, like Aogashima, a volcano within a volcano, Oshima. Mount Aso. The problem with fucking Japan is this, when, look, you have like two weeks vacation. If you go to Japan for two weeks, you can never see everything. You have no chance. PewDiePie is very really clever. He has a fucking house there. He has like a base there. But man, seeing everything in Japan, the volcanic too much going this on, bro. This return also blesses Japan with wow, countless natural look hot at springs, that. I want to go there. It's an onsen. Bath houses on called onsen, typically onsen. indicated with this symbol. All this plate activity in volcanoes means that about 70% of Japan is mountainous with the highest peak, Mount Fuji, overlooking Tokyo. Fuji looks which, so by the way, sexy, is still technically man. an active volcano which erupted about 300 years ago. The rift between the Philippine plate and the Eurasian plate creates the... I was in Tokyo for half a year, wasn't enough time. Japanese Alps, which bisects the country Japanese on Honshu. This isolated geologic war zone in return, though, kind of blesses Japan with an abundance of unique flora and fauna. Today, about 70% of Japan is forested with Thank nice you, man. natural water sources, like the longest river. I'm just gonna, uh, VIP Danheim real quick, not because I'm simping. I just wanna, if he ever says something in chat, I wanna actually see that. Because this guy actually, you know, I wanna read what he says. The Shinano and the largest lake, Lake Biwa on Honshu. Endemic animals can be found like Japanese I'm, I'm hornets, actually excited makake for... monkeys, tanukis, giant salamanders, bobcat, wow, salamander. red that fox, look like red big... crown crane, the national dog, the shiba Thank inu, you, Dunham, the national bro. bird, the green pheasant, and the national fish, koi. Speaking of animals... Bro, there's koi, right? If you manage to breed a koi that is completely white and has a red dot in the middle, it's worth thousands of dollars, man. Yes, I, Japan I, I has quite that. a few feral animal islands and towns, such as Tashirojima, the cat island. Oh, at least I will love that shit. A lot of ginger cats. And Okunoshima, the rabbit island. The town of Miyajima for deer, Miyagi-zao for foxes, and of course Jigoku Dani, where you can see those monkeys in hot springs. With limited space and only about 20% highly subsidized arable land, Japan has kind of had to think outside the box. So they said, hey, why not go to the sea? Today, Japan is disputably the most advanced aquaculture society on the planet. Not only do they have the largest merchant marine fleet in the world, but they also harvest everything from shellfish to seaweed and offshore yeah but uh, what i see in documentaries like on netflix that's my source maybe i'm wrong i don't fucking know that japan has mad issues with overfishing man they're they're totally overfishing they have they can also be very cruel they like really they hunt dolphins and whales and they fuck them up a lot and shit and they don't give a fuck if their number goes down and stuff ocean plots and fish farms gotta they be careful there they, they, well, they used to be this movie which is crazy blue lagoon it's a documentary movie where they show you they're on a Japanese ship and they're hunting dolphins. And that sh that movie is so heavy, man. 
That movie is the Schindler's List of the Animal Kingdom, dude. They're fucking genociding the dolphins, and they don't give a fuck, man. They just fucking behead them and stuff. I even have the largest fucking fish market really in the fucked world, up, dude. Tsukiji. Speaking of which, we all know about Japanese food. I feel like I don't even really have to give you a list of notable dishes like sushi, mochi, or ramen. However, Japan is such known great for making strange culture. flavors of conventional snacks, drinks, and desserts, such as yogurt, Pepsi, spaghetti popsicles, horse. And when I was in China, they had that. They have like super weird aromatic chemical stuff, and it's it's so disgusting to me, man. Octopus ice cream, pancake juice, wasp that crackers, cannot and KitKat has tried pretty much anything under the that sun. That can't be good. Speaking of which, Japan is the third largest world economy by nominal GDP, mostly due to their various technology and automotive industries yeah, that have swept the world has to keep by up storm them, since the middle of the 20th century. The largest automotive companies include Toyota, Mitsubishi, Honda, Nissan, Mazda. When I was in China, every single car was Mitsubishi. Every single one. Suzuki and Subaru, as well as tech companies and their subsidiaries like Hitachi, Sony, Epson, Canon, Toshiba, Fujitsu, Panasonic, Nikon, and Nintendo. This does, however, yeah, cause a problem. Great, Japan is classified as a high throwaway society in which lots of resources get unnecessarily used. Like Yasha, like, my come dude. on, Japan. I know you have aesthetic standards, but seriously, I don't need one apple in vacuum sealed plastic wrap. Nonetheless, He's totally right. They're, they, they have such a plastic waste, man. Super unnecessary. Japan is often seen as one of, if not the world leader in robotics and tech science, receiving more Nobel prizes and science than any other Asian country. And it's kind of impressive. I mean, with a high population and limited space, Japanese people know how to consolidate and innovate. Speaking of Japanese people. What I heard in life, I don't know. I over J Japanese people are the nicest fuckers, man. They will welcome you. They don't even... You know, a lot of people on this planet, like, for example, Austrians and Germans, they will act nice, but deep inside, they don't give a fuck about you. But J what I heard in life, Japanese people legit are fucking nice. They legit give a shit. Now, Japanese people are like, opposite? you never know what they're going to come up with next. You know it's probably going to be a little weird, but you're still going to be a little interested in it. First of all, the country has about 127 million people and is the 10th most popular. I never knew that. Wow, that's so much more than Germany. Populous country in the world. That's a lot Mexico of people, is man. Getting really close to beating them. The country is incredibly homogenous with over 98%, 98 Japanese. That's by far the most homogenic child we've ever seen on those YouTube channel, man. Japanese, while the rest is Korean, is I guess. Made up of Koreans, yep. Chinese, and very small Caucasian minorities of Americans and Europeans, and the indigenous Ryukyu and Ainu peoples. They use I Japanese they live in the north. as their currency. They surprisingly use the Type A American style plug outlet, and they drive on the left side they of the road. The as left. mentioned, Ridiculous. like eight seconds ago, Japan has two main indigenous ethnic groups, each with their own languages. You have the Ainu, which predominantly inhabit Hokkaido and some of the Kuril Islands, administered by Russia, known for their rustic, scruffy features, where men grew beards and women used to tattoo their lips and arms. Today, there are less than thirty thousand left wow, but some only 40k estimate left. That there could be up to 200,000 if you include the other I knew that have assimilated into the rest of Japan and are hmm. kind of faintly aware of their own culture otherwise you have the Ryukyu people Ryukyu. or the Okinawans which are kind of like the Hawaiians of Japan known for their own distinct art and traditions and beliefs now everybody in the world has had at least a little bit of exposure to some kind of Japanese culture whether it be yeah, samurais geisha sumos kabuki shamisen music kimonos and excessively weird products and advertisements aimed at using nonconformity as a hook to engage viewers but apart from all that flashy Japan stuff let's look at the basics first. Japan, no surprise, speaks Japanese, which is actually not that hard to learn conversationally, but it's a nightmare when it comes to writing. The Japanese language uses three alphabets. I, I don't want to sound arrogant, but this is going to sound weird. I, I, I'm watching anime my entire life, and Japanese doesn't feel that hard. Speaking, obviously, as he says, but speaking... It can be much worse. That's hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Technically four if you include romaji, but that's kind of like for lazy. And you gotta people. learn the first three two, hiragana fucking and katakana are syllable made up of forty-six Jeez. corresponding base characters each. That means you have two ways to write each syllable. Whereas kanji is basically the list of Chinese characters that they borrowed from China. Most like when, when I lived in China, it was so easy to learn Chinese. It wasn't that hard, but the the the, the uh, what was it called? I don't remember. The the fucking symbols, no chance. Students Fuck have off. to learn about No two way to in hell I'm learning that, that shit. That means that Chinese people can kind of get by in Japan just by reading the signs, as most of the characters have identical meanings, just hmm. different pronunciations. It's kind of hard to explain, but the reason why they use three alphabets is because each one kind of plays a role for certain words in context. They don't use spaces in writing, so each alphabet kind of acts as like word dividers, and katakana is used for technical and foreign words. Well, why don't they just fix the problem by using spaces and discard the other two alphabets? Shut up! That's why! If you didn't grow up here and actually learn this stuff, you're either obsessed with Japan or criminally insane. Sorry, I'm boring the crap out of you guys with language stuff. Anyway, oh, let's talk about history. Man. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen that the video. Must be so words, sick. whom I am totally not jealous of considering that he racked up more views and subscribers in two videos than I have in all these years of working on this channel but in the quickest way I can summarize it yeah, yeah it must period, be very hot 
Okay, I don't know anything of this. I think you have to watch a whole new video about the history. It's too much. Look at that fucking castle. That looks so sick, bro. Japan, Asuka regime, Chinese culture comes in, Heian period, aristocrats take over, Kamakura period, aristocrats lose, Shogun time, province wars, Azuchi Momoyama period. And let's be fucking real, guys. One day, we're gonna get an Edo period Assassin's Creed, and it's gonna be great. Period, things are stable, Meiji restoration, industrialization, World War One. Japan's economy sucks, coup d'etats and assassination attempts against the emperor, military rule, they try to make an empire and in World War II attack Pearl Harbor, Nagasaki yeah, and Hiroshima, so clever, afterwards treaty signed, military kind of dismantled, and post-war economic miracle, done! Japan definitely sticks huh. out from every country on earth, and it's partially because of their belief system. Japan is the only country in the world that practices Shintoism, which obviously enough started in Japan. If you don't know anything about Shintoism, Such Google Basically, religion, man. Just fucking be one of nature and don't fucking jerk off in everybody's face, It's a man. very ritualistic belief system that reveres a multitude of kami, which translates to something along the lines of gods or spirits or essence. It's hard to explain, but basically a kami can be manifested in almost anything and everything. There are kami for harvest, kami for war, kami for good luck, and so on. Today, about 80% of Japanese people practice Shinto to some extent. Oh, 80% still... Or wow, that's cool, man. That's cool. Praying. However, most of them will not say that they identify as Shintoists, since there are no Shinto formal is brutal ritual and to themselves a practice. Otherwise, about 35% might say that they identify as Buddhist, and a small 3% are Christians. Today, there are about 81,000 Shinto shrines and about 85,000 appointed Shinto priests all over the country. Technically, Shintoism is also important because it's claimed that the emperor is a direct descendant of Amaterasu, the goddess of the Amaterasu! Sun, which means Sorry. the emperor has the highest authority in Shintoism. Though today, it's Amaterasu was like the the she's like the ultimate god. She's like a queen or some shit. I remember that. And she made children and stuff. More seen as like a moral tradition and patriotic practice rather than believing that the emperor actually has divine status. Oh, yeah, but Japan Amaterasu has... is the ultimate jutsu of U Uchiha Itashi. The cringe is real? Fuck you, okay? You're the cringe. Imperial family with Akihito holding the throne since 1989. And to this day, Japan is the only country with an emperor. Some people will say that Shintoism is part Didn't he step back? This is a one-year-old video. He, he just stepped back, right? They have a new emperor now. The reason yeah. Why Japan also has a vibrant, complex yeah. industry of cartoons and anime, many of which inspired from Shinto-driven legends and kami. They often rank as the top video game producing and playing country in the world. Everybody knows Mario, Sonic, and Pikachu. In a sense, Japanese people have always admittedly kind of been escapists, creating their own. Uh, when I'm thinking of esports, right? You have you have the Americans winning sometimes. You have Europeans. You have Chinese. I don't remember any Japanese team. In Dota 2, Counter Strike, help me. I don't. In esports, Japan isn't that big. South Korea, yes, but but Japan, no, oh. no, no, no. I don't remember any Japan. Yeah, shut up about South Korea. Jesus Christ, I'm talking about Japan here. I never seen Japanese team winning League of Legends, Dota 2, Counter Strike, Warcraft 3. Never seen that, man. I don't know. They stick to themselves. It might be due to their long history of diplomatic isolation. In another sense, though, honor and diligence culture is of huge importance. Having a degree and respectable title is always that can always. That's why they have the highest fucking suicide rate in the world because they have this honor thing. And if you if you fuck up, if you're not part of society, you're you're an out. You're an outcast, man. Haunted. The problem, you're though, is that Japan has the largest aging population in the world, in which... Old I just read one week ago, the record for oldest human being ever has been broken. A Japanese woman, and I think Okinawa, is now 117 years old. World record of all times. Over 26% of the country is 65 or older. Ouch. In contrast, only about 12.4% are 1 to 14 years old. Ooh, Sociologists good. have many theories as to why this is, but in addition to a high depression rate, there seems to be a lack of sexual interest amongst millennials, especially for men. They even have a word for it. So Shoko Danshi or herbivores. On top of that, Japan has a very strict and conservative. That's hella interesting. The male population is not interested in breeding. Isn't that interesting? Where does that come from? Is it the stress, the 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 capitalist lifestyle? It's so interesting, man. Non subs, you should get your ass to Japan, man. They need you. Immigration and Time to go to Japan, so boys. So ultimately, a smaller generation has to lift the burden of taking care of a population almost 10 times their size. Any Japanese people are overworked. They even have a word for that. Karoshi. Some wonder how the future will look like. Hey, son. I was about to say, the future can't look so bright Ooh, with I that would, lifestyle. But you never had a son, so I don't exist. Good luck. <laughs> now you can probably understand why the Japanese are so into building robots. There's so much more we can talk about, like how Japan has a strong history in martial arts, folklore, and regional festivals, but this video is already getting long and I have to cut it down. Some notable yeah, people you of can't Japanese make a descent might really long video like Emperor Japan, Hirohito, sure. Fukuzawa Yukichi, Honda Tatakatsu, Kukai, my uh, I, I'm always interested in this question. First famous person you think of when I say Japan? Because I don't, I only know animes. I don't know. First famous person you think of about Japan? It's Hirohito kind of because of Hearts of Iron. Shinzo Abe, Hirohito. 
Obu Oda Nobunaga, yeah. But it's for me it's Hirorito because of her four. Who's who is a famous? Name a famous Japanese person that's alive right now. Like they're good in, in Formula One, there's a guy. Uh, Shinji Kagawa, who plays for Dortmund, a good football player. They're very good at sky, uh, uh, the she diving. Huh. Ken Watanabe. Yeah, 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 the actor. Um, what's his name? I love him. Man, the guy who did um, Takeshi's Castle, he makes very serious movies. Um, what's his name? Ta what's his name? The guy who made Filthy Frank. <laughs> He's half Japanese, yeah. Akira. Kojima? Takeshi Kitano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude. Tom Cruise, Jackie Chan. Ayata Toshie, Tokugawa Leyasu, Murasaki Shikibu, Saifo Takamori, Akira Kurosawa, Hayao Miyazaki, Akira Kurosawa, Ichiro yeah. Honda, Miyoshi Honda. Kuneki, Hibari Misora, Rinko Kikuchi, Samu Danzai, Kei Nishikori, Ayumi Hamasaki, Takeshi Hitano, Masayoshi Takeshi Son, Hitano. Akira Toriyama, Sadako Ogata, Haiho Koki, Masako Katsura, Ichiro Suzuki, Hane Mori, Ken Watanabe, Downtown Ken Duo, Watanabe, yeah. Kisuke Honda, and Shinji Kagawa. Now, Shinji Kagawa, yeah, that's the first guy I know. Like a lone wolf, but over time, <laughs> Aza Akira. <laughs> Let's find out how in the last segment. <laughs> the... So Japan is Friend a pretty zone. big player on the world stage. As a member of the G20, G8, IMF, WHO, UN, EAS, Interpol, and like 400 other acronyms, they know diplomacy pretty well. They get along with Brazil, Peru, and the Philippines pretty well. Why? Each country contains many Japanese communities. And in addition, what? lots of people from these countries either visit or work. There's Japanese fuckers in Brazil? In what? Japan, Peru even had a Japanese president. As mentioned what? in the France episode, Japan kind of sees France as like the epitome of European exoticism. And after English, French is one of the most highly desired languages to learn. Although good luck considering how every French word kind of ends in a continent. The Pacific Island nations of Palau, Kiribati, and Marshall Islands still hold close ties. Even though Japan kind of occupied them during the first half of the 20th century, Japanese people love visiting and provide business and revenue for these countries. Their biggest frenemies are <clears throat> South Korea and China. These three are like the Asian trifecta dominating most of the business and affairs in the East. Despite Japan having invaded and occupying these two for decades, my own grandmother was actually raised in Japanese-occupied Korea, and to this day, she still speaks fluent Japanese. They've mostly moved on, plus the whole North Korea thing kind of makes South Korea and Japan closer. The youth of today love piggybacking off of each other's cultures. Koreans and Japanese admit it, they can't get enough of Japanese anime and video games, whereas the Japanese are obsessed with K-pop, and you know, they kind of got kanji and Buddhism from- How the fuck is K-pop such a big thing? I, China, I so uh, there's that. In terms of the I'm best old. friends, however, interestingly enough though, most most of the Japanese people I've talked to have said the USA and Taiwan. Even though they don't officially recognize Taiwan as a sovereign state on paper, they totally Whoa. act like they do and stand with them on pretty much any Brazil has the largest Taiwan Japanese was population out of Japan. Why? area under Japanese rule during the empire years, and they have since then still kept close. Even though the pains of World War II will never be forgotten, it's funny because almost immediately after that, the US and Japan started sure, skipping it was really quick, man. hand in hand. Bam, the US had a kind of Japan, felt bro. like a duty to make reparations since they were all- Like how did- I, I'm so interested in this. You know, Germany has this big issue where when Germany lost World War II and the world the, the war was over and we installed a democratic uh, party system in Germany, you still had thousands of Nazis everywhere. They had jobs, they had they were in the government, they had the bureaucratic jobs. That you had you had this big process of end Nazification in Germany. There were still so many Nazis left, right? Everywhere. Was it the same in Japan? Was there still maybe not, because it was a military it was more like the military taking over, right? I like I'm so interested about this. Thank you, Retribution Man. They all committed suicide. Could actually be possible. Thank you, brother Duncan, man. Like I would be guessing, it was easier in Japan to get this old shit out. You are uh... after the Tokyo trials. Still, lots of nationalism in Japan. Ah, we can rent a family in Japan. Okay. Interesting shit, Already man. Already communities of Japanese Americans, especially in they Hawaii still deny the war crimes. My hometown, Los Angeles, has a little Tokyo. So they invested tons of money in Japan after the war, and in the 50s, yeah, they invested a lot in really every industry. Shit. Culture cues were adopted on both sides. Donald's opened up in Tokyo, 7-Eleven opened up in the U.S. They love burgers and Chris Evans, and we have nerds living... I'm not saying it. In their mom's no, basements, no, rewatching every season of Naruto Shippuden with ill-fitting cosplay outfits. In Shippuden. conclusion, what the, the fuck? land of the Rising the Sun has always kind of figured that the best way for them to open up to the world was to create their own worlds with wild imaginations driven by technology, yet still beautifully preserving the ancient, vibrant values of their ancestors. Hmm. Oh, by the way, this episode was brought to you by Bob Saget's Bear Shark Tipus Coffee Shoes. Watashi wa kohito kutsuga hoshi. Let's super harassment sandwich. Stay tuned. Jordan is coming up next. 
Okay, that was Japan, man. That was Japan.